animatedanatomy.com. Now I will talk about the deep muscles of the posterior compartment. The first muscle that I will talk about is the popliteus muscle. The popliteus muscle has the origin on the middle facet of the lateral surface of the lateral femoral condyle here. And the insertion is actually the posterior tibia under condyles here. It is innervated by the tibial nerve and it has the function of medial rotation and the flexion of the knee. Now I have added three muscles and that is the tibialis posterior, the flexor digitorum longus and the flexor halitus longus on the right. Now these three muscles that I have just mentioned go all the way down and they pass underneath this flexor retinaculum of ankle here. So this muscle should also pass underneath it. And they create this so-called tarsal tunnel. Now let's start by explaining one by one, shall we? This muscle here is the flexor digitorum longus. The flexor digitorum longus has the origin on the medial tibia. The insertion of this muscle is the distal phalanges of the lateral four fingers. This muscle is innervated by the tibial nerve and it serves as a flexor of lateral four fingers. Now because this is for the lateral four fingers we also have for the big toe the right flexor halitus longus. If we go down there you will see that it inserts on the base of the distal phalanx of the big toe. So it inserts just like the rebus muscle but now on the distal phalanx of the toe of the biggest toe. The origin of this muscle is clearly different. It is fibula and not tibia. The innervation is the same. It is also innervated by the tibial nerve. It serves as a flexor of all joints of the hallux and also it serves for the plantar flexion of the ankle joint. Now I should deactivate these two muscles and explain the last muscle that goes through the tarsal tunnel. That is the tibialis posterior muscle. The tibialis posterior muscle has the origin on tibia and fibula, both. The insertion of this muscle is in the medial cuneiform here and also on the navicular bone here. It is also innervated by the tibial nerve. The tibialis posterior muscle has the function of inversion of the foot and also plantar flexion of the foot. Now I will talk about the muscles in the lateral compartment of the leg. There are only two muscles in this compartment. Hello everyone, I developed Animated Anatomy that you can purchase on animatedanatomy.com. I put them links down there in the description or you can click on a link here in a video. If you're not going to purchase my software, then at least make sure you leave a positive comment, subscribe or like my video.